Hello! Um, Merry post Christmas, post Merry New <laughs> Merry New Year, Happy New Year. Um, yeah, th this is this is essentially to show off my Christmas presents. I wasn't going to do one of these, but I got something particularly particularly special, which I think warranted warranted you know at least um, at least showing off. And so I thought, you know, I'm, I'm due a, I'm due a pickups video, and I bought a, a few things before and after Christmas, and I just thought I'd talk about my Christmas and what's been going on as well. Just mash it all together. There's a nice blue glow in in this room. It's from my the Christmas lights that I showed you before Christmas. I haven't taken down yet. I'm too lazy. I think it's. I hope, I hope it's not. It's unlucky, isn't it? Or you know, people say it's unlucky. You know, and you don't want to. You don't want to um, upset the gods, do you? So sooner or later, I'm, my Christmas tree's still up. I'm just it's really lazy. Uh, you know. um, no, Christmas finished. Um, I do like Christmas, but I've been thinking about it, and um, so much of the enjoyment for me now from Christmas comes from nostalgia and reminiscing about how good Christmas was as a kid. Probably, you know, essentially when you used to believe in Father Christmas and it was all really magical, but then, you know, as, as the years go on you get cynical, don't you? Oh, I do. I don't know if you do, but I do. And, um... <laughs> you see, I, Christmas has always lacked atmosphere for me. I think, I think just one year I'd either like to either, you know, go one way in the, ignore Christmas altogether, like go on holiday. I know people have done that, and I can imagine that a bit strange. Or do the opposite, just have one almighty piss up. But then you can't really do that when there are like, old people and kids around. So, that would have to have a rethink, but it's, it, Christmas has always lacked atmosphere. You know, it follows the same, it follows the same course. You know, you, um, you get up, you open your presents, you eat too much, you feel a bit tired. And you might you might play some games. You might watch. You might watch Wallace and Gromit, or The Sound of Music, or The Great Escape, depending on which way your tastes. Yeah, but you know, and then you just feel knackered at the end of the day. Sorry, my cat. What are you doing? Oi! Oi! Cut that out. I'll have words. Don't you jog my tripod, either. Where was I? Christmas, yeah. But I just, one year, it just always lacks atmosphere. It's nice, I mean, I enjoy it, but it's just, you, you ever go out for a walk, it's like desolate. Just Christmas, what, do, are people all just hold up in their houses, just not doing anything, just it's so quiet, eerie, you know. If anybody was filming um, a post-apocalyptic um, film, I could do worse than to do to film it on Christmas Day or New Year's Day because that's even worse. I like New Year's Day, but it's always a bit a bit of a downer, especially when you know you've been drinking and then alcohols are alcohols are depressant anyway, and then and then you <laughs> you come out into this post post New Year piss up desolation on a cold morning, grey generally. And it's too quiet. I don't know. That's what I don't like about news. I mean, I like the the. I like that you put. Oh, well, I'm talking about bollocks anyway. <laughs> yeah, my Christmas. I was going to say my Christmas presents. Um. And I think I will. But before, I, I mean, on Christmas Day, I went over to my sister's. And did the same old, same old stuff. And then it gets to the evening when you you know you got to decide you're going to sit down and watch watch Finding Nemo or play some board games. And uh, my my sister's boyfriend, or the you know the the father of my niece, he um he's got another daughter and he he uh, where they live, he has a Wii, and he's got all these kiddies games and he had um, Just Dance too. We played Just Dance too, and. Uh, this isn't my copy. This is not mine. Get out of your heads. That's not mine. Um, my mum bought this for herself and left it around here. 
and with the intention of using it whenever she had the opportunity to. But um, and it it didn't get used for about a year until um, played it. We played the game at my uh, at my sister's on Christmas Day, and I remembered this is exactly the same version I had at home that my mum bought. So I, thought, I went home. I came back home. And I thought, right, it was actually, actually Boxing Day because I was it was just me on Boxing Day, and I had, I had a sneaky go. I had, I had a good hour, and then a good hour just battered me. I was knackered, really enjoyed it. I mean, I've got no qualms. I'm not shy to say that I really enjoyed it. <laughs> you know, but it's, it, it's enjoyable and it knackered me out. I mean, if you did a good hour of this a day, every every day, you'd be like, a, you know, you'd be like, I don't know, have the fitness of an Olympic athlete. The first time I tried it, I thought I had, I had my jeans on and a shirt and a, and a jumper. No, I'd have, I'd have a quick go. And then I, after every song, I thought I was getting a bit sweatier, so I was sort of stripped down. Eventually, by the end of it, I was standing there in my pants, like proper sweaty. <laughs> Which one do I like? I mean, Rasputin is just ridiculous because you're doing that Russian, that mental Russian dancing they do, like squatting and like doing the sort of star jumps. And jump, it's got jump, it? you know. It's it's by um, it's, it's sort of like a aftermarket version of jump. It's not by Criss Cross. It's by two other two other youths. But um, it's just like great, really enjoy it. And I've got no, I'm not, I'm not shy. I enjoyed it. So I've, I've had a, I've been pretty addicted to that ever since. <laughs> ever since Christmas. But um, I forgot what I was going to tell you about. What I was going to tell you about. Oh, my computer! Sorry, scratching your nose, itchy nose. My computer just like went mental. I mean, I was my last upload um, was having problems. At one, at its worst, it was saying fourteen hundred and one minutes to upload, and that was about half an hour video. Jesus Christ, something's going on. And it had been um, it had been sent away because it needed some stuff doing to it because it, it it just sort of like it, it was knackered at the time. And it was just a, it was a corrupt. Apparently, it's corrupt um, software or something like that. And um, when it came back, it had all this different stuff on it, and like it had different virus protection. I mean, I, I only use free virus protection anyway. I used, used to use a vast. And they put something else on it. It was Windows. It was the Windows or the Microsoft. It was the Microsoft free, and um, I worked it out that it was the it was their free um, uh, their free um, virus protection that was for some reason was just screwing up my videos. Hang on, wait there. Sorry. My cat, he was he was in it and he was weaving around my legs and he was just like getting my getting my tits. But anyway, no, my computer, yeah. Um, first of all, the virus protection was screwing up my uploads, and I worked that out and I, I remedied it and I was quite proud of myself because I'm not the I'm not best with IT, and everything was dandy. And then um, after Christmas, um, I've been a uh, I'm gonna. Be working, doing a bit of work with my um, sister's my sister's boyfriend because he's a gra he's a graphic designer. And I'm just going to sort of do a, you know a bit here and there on a, on a sort of casual basis, and I'm not like up up to speed with all the the, the <laughs> and I said we've got a pretty big task, but I'm not up to speed with all the packages. And so he okay, goes just to download the the the. The uh, the sample, not the um, the trial versions from Adobe, from the Adobe website. You know, you get a whole load. You, basically, you know, it was like Creative Suite, and it's Creative Suite six, I think. And I th and I looked at it and I thought, yeah, I can I can do that. And I and I picked um, the free the free um, trial version of it's the Masters collection, which is essentially everything they do. And I download it and I set it to download, and then. Um, it was it, it was going to take uh, fourteen hours, <laughs> so I left it overnight. I left my computer running overnight, and when I when I came back, 
I, I had actually sort of clicked a few boxes. A few boxes popped up just as, as I thought it was just like a, a random thing, you know, just generally it's just all part of the process. And I just uh, clicked or selected the, uh, the default option, you know, I'm not going to mess around with them. And um, I thought everything was dandy. And then it got to the next day and it still hadn't quite finished uploading. And uh, I turned my, the sound off and I turned it back on. I just clicked it to see, you know, because I wanted to go and um, watch some videos while it was finishing downloading. And then there's this god awful noise coming out of the speakers. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what's going on? I don't think my, my ancient dinosaur computer can handle, handle all this extra stuff. And it is it is basically taking up a big chunk of the hard drive, all all this extra stuff, and uh, and it was just going just making this old god awful din. Eventually, it downloaded, but from that point, I had no sound. There was no there was no chime on the um, when I was opening up Windows, open yeah you know, generally, and there was no sound on any uh, online videos. At one point, um, iTunes wasn't recognising my um, wasn't recognising the. The speakers, it was just like, Jesus Christ, and the speakers are a bit dodgy anyway. They kept, you know, they've been like losing sound and sort of dipping in and out for for months. So, is it dark? Maybe I should sit a bit closer to the camera. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Hang on. If I move closer to the window, it'll be alright. Is that better? No, I'll just, I have to do anyway. I've started now. Anyway, um. Yeah, I had no sound, so I just had a bit of a had a bit of panic and just, just Jesus Christ, what's going on? So I'm gonna have to send it away again. But then um, went and bought some new speakers, hoping it was the speakers, but I had the same problems. And I, I worked out that it was some sort of software default, the software fault. <laughs> and uh, eventually, I, um, after a while, after having hooked up these new speakers, which I did need anyway, they had Logitech. They were they were um, they got a good a uh, good response on Amazon, so I went and bought them from PC World, and they were they're only two two pound more on P in PC World, so I'm not bothered. And they're not they're not bad. Um, they're two point one surround sound, so it's nothing to flash. Um, but they didn't work, so it must have been some sort of software thing. And I realised that as part of the download process for this um, all this Adobe software. Um, when I when I ticked the box, it, it, for some reason I had no idea why it, it would offer me this option, but it it had sort of deselected all of the uh, the sound device on my computer. So and it took me a good day to work out <laughs> why it was. But I was you know I was relieved when it when it when I finally sorted it out. But anyway, twelve minutes shit. Anyway, that's that. So I've I've had a bit of a I've had a bit of a nightmare, but it's blue. It looks quite light in the viewfinder on my. Um, on my camera, but on the little box on a on a movie maker, ah, it's a bit dark. I might have to put it through um, YouTube's jazzing up a bit. Anyway, um, Christmas presents. Generally, I got money from people. People know that I'm just a bitch to buy presents for. Some people and try and buy me presents, and um, yeah. And I will always appreciate it when people like um, put the effort in. But I'm just a. Uh, it's because um, I like films and music and video games. And I don't. Th I don't think people know my taste in film, music, or video games. So, <laughs> which makes me which makes me an awkward son of a bitch. So generally, most people buy me, give me give me money. My mum gave me money. My dad did. I'm a nan. So you know. So generally, I have to go and buy my own presents. You know, I don't want to frit it away. But um, from what I did get, the um, I'll, sh I'll show you the special bit late at the end. But this is something I really liked. I won't get the box out because that was causing me no end hassle. It's it's Shilob with Samwise Gamgee on the back. It's Lego Shilob. Put him there with filthy horrid <laughs> That is, that's Gollum. Don't think Gollum's gonna. Get a little Gollum. There he is! <laughs> <laughs> Filthy hobbits! I can't do it. I, I, ever since I, um, I was watching Sean do the, the Lego Lord of the Rings. Fish. It's a little fish. A little fish for Gollum. 
and then a Frodo with the ring. You can't hold the ring properly. You have to sort of like hold it like that. Weird, like a mug of tea. And there's um, that sting there. Sam. Sam's riding on the back of Shilob. Sam's got the, the light of Elendil. Elendil. That's there. Looks like the jar he's holding. Really cool. Um, a lot's changed since I last had some Lego. It's pretty good, if I'm honest. The one major downside, the only real proper downside, their legs don't articulate anymore. Look, can you see that? There's no hinge. What a piece of shit. You can't make them do that anymore. I mean, it didn't really do much. <laughs> but they just stand there. Now they can't even look like they're running. It's bollocks. Oh, yeah, and this. This comes with it as well. What happens? I don't think you're going to see this. I'm going to have to do it up like this. You put Gollum on it. Gonna do it. Yep, I'm gonna see it down here, aren't we? Oh, well, I'll do it like this and hope, hope the best that you can see it. You might see a bit. Yeah. No, you're never seeing it, are you? Well, what you do, basically, you put Gollum on there and it's you sort of like, it's like a little hinge bit there. You put him on there and you, and you tap him, it's like he's leaping out of the rocks. It's a bit fun, a bit fun. And that was, you know, that was it. My sister got me this. It's just, just for a laugh. I think she, I think she likes to take the piss out of me with my Christmas present. It's a collapsible pipe, pipe jar. I don't know how it's meant to stay up. It does stay up, but it's, I can see me filling it up and it just collapsing on me and being doused, in, doused, in, oh shit, doused in beer. It's a pocket pint. Um, it's just a bit of fun. Um, get the box in the box. Yeah, box there. It's nice, isn't it? That's how it looks. Yeah. 8 to 14. No, that's a good, only a I don't know, sort of two and a half out. Anyway. And um, from my mum, Madman. Brilliant television. I, can't, I can imagine this isn't everybody's taste, but I, this is just superlative. It's just like. The tightest piece of television you'll ever, like, you'll ever get. I mean, the scripting and the acting is just, it's just, there's no, there's no slack in it. And it's just, fuck you, Rupert Murdoch, I'll buy my box sets. Because I used to watch it on BBC Two, no, BBC Four. And then um, Rupert, Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch got his dirty hands on it because he obviously realised it was popular. And as is always the way, um, he doesn't take the gamble, he just waits until something's a sure thing and just throws a load of money at it and try, hopes that the, the audience will follow over to his pay-per-view television, the fucker. Not me, not I, because he's a cunt. Apologies for the language. And I've got this from Mum. Uh, just because it's, it's just a bit of feel-good, you know. I loved the Olympics when it was on. Again, I, don't, I can't imagine sort of the people watching... Uh, too into that sort of thing, but I loved it. And ooh, shit. anything to maintain that feel good factor, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining. And that's what that's all about. So I can just sit and watch all the, all the, you know, the the good natured, good feeling stuff, you know, for as from my heart to my heart's content. I mean, you imagine what they're going to do with the um, the stadium now. Because it's gonna, it's pretty, pretty much gonna be taken over by West Ham, and I'm not sure I like that. I mean, it's obviously the most realistic option, but imagine all the good feeling that was surrounding the Olympics. You know, just generally good feeling, and it made everybody feel positive, didn't it? The whole nation. It's not something we're good at feeling positive about ourselves. And I think sort of the the epicenter was the Olympic Stadium for the athletics, but you know, it, it did radiate. But generally. For that, that like that last week, the epicenter was the Olympic Stadium. I mean, it's just and then going on into the, into the, um, into the the Paralympics, but then it's going to get taken over by a Premier League club full of you know, it's going to have like full of football supporters, and it's going to, the, the whole nature of the place is going to turn into an angry cauldron of of hate. 
which which you get so much of in football. And then where, whereas you have like the Olympics would have people like just desperate to compete, you know, trying to compete when they're injured, you know, because they're, they're just so proud to be there. And then you get Premier League overpaid Premier League footballers who. Um, who love feigning injury and like uh, probably most of them are racists. <laughs> I once saw Jack um, Jack Wilshire parking on the, um, the the jaggedy line bit outside a local um, parking. He's Aston Martin. It was one of them matte black ones. Aston Martin on the jaggedy line outside a post office just because he's Jack Wilshire and he can. What a cunt! Good good footballer. Good yeah, sorry, good footballer. But what a bastard! You can tell his attitude just by that. And my last Christmas present, not my last, my penultimate Christmas present was this. Graphic design rules. Got this from my sister. Primarily because I'm going to be helping my um, my brother, so maybe brother-in-law, because he's obviously her boyfriend. They're not married. And finally, my last Christmas present, this beauty. Yeah, it's a Christmas jumper from. This is again from my sister. I'm going to put. A little, I've made a little video of me modelling it. So. Um, I'll do that now. So yeah, that was me modelling it with my Christmas guts. <laughs> they do want they need to do some more uh, uh, sit ups. Although I've I've been doing it's dance, uh, just dance, it's dance. But proper Christmas jumper that. R really warm. This is really dark. It looks really dark. It's gonna, only going to get darker when I upload it. Right. On to the pickups. Some of these were from before Christmas. I got a bit. Um, what was it before Christmas? That was before Christmas. Just two. Actually, no. There's some of them. Some DVD. I've got DVDs as well. Just two game pickups. Primarily because I had to. I, I had to. Oh, oh well, Dave's Odyssey. This is a duplicate. Mm, you know. <laughs> Sorry, it's just I don't know, put into a batch of stuff. And this one is another duplicate, but it's a keeper. It's Ico. Because I've got the cardboard version, the original version, and I'm going to use this as a player. This is what I'm going to play, because I don't want to mess the other one around too much. Not that it's that delicate. It's pretty robust, anyway. But if I'm honest, I have been contemplating buying, buying another one, and then I saw one for a pound in a, in a, a, uh, in a cancer research. So it's Ico for a pound in a cancer research. And I also got, from before Christmas... Was it really one? I can't remember what was came from before Christmas. Yeah, just one, I think. And that was that. This was a couple of days before Christmas, and I didn't have any money to buy for my buy stuff for myself, you know, apart from those two. And um, I was like, shit, I need to, need to buy some presents. Then I went into the charity shop, and I've not got super bad, and I've thought about buying it, but I've always wanted the two-disc version, and you never see the two-disc version, there's always the one-disc version. And, um, I do enjoy it, but I, I do I, I prefer 40-year-old um, Virgin and Knocked Up to this. They, they feel a bit more realistic. This one's a bit more sort of have your cake and eat it, sort of thing. Whereas those are just having your cake. Right, and um, I'll go with the DVDs first. There aren't too many. Three. Um, this one recommended by uh, old uh, Burt Reynolds. It's Drive. With a uh, Drive. That's three quid from HMV, and uh, it's supposed to be really good, according to Burt Reynolds. It is Burt Reynolds. And um, the same day, or actually in the same HMV, I've got Watchmen because I love it. I love Watchmen. Again, it's not everybody's um, favourite. Um, it's not everybody's favourite. Uh, superhero film, but I just love the, I love the uh, the atmosphere and the the feeling. Just this, just slightly slightly downbeat and depressing, <laughs> but really cool as well. And I love Rorschach. 
He's just one of my favourite characters in anything ever. Give me back my face! No, it's not. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> and Drive as well. Drive just looks super cool. Super cool! And um, a lot of people have been getting this, but um, Breaking Bad. Um, I've been watching this for years, just apart from the third series. I watched the first two on telly. I've got I've got the third series for my birthday, but then I went to watch rewatch them in order. So I've I've still not watched the third series, and I've had it for a, a good half six months or longer. Um, and I just wanted to get the second series so I could watch them all in order because I started watching the first series, and I've, I actually stopped because I knew I'd get to the point where, when it came to an end, and then I wouldn't be able to continue because. You know, anyway, so now I've got it, so now I've watched it all in order. And then there's the full series to, to get hold of as well. And uh, it's just superlative television. Uh, if, you, if you've heard good things about it, believe them. You know, believe. Um, and finally, no, not finally, a couple more, uh, two, two games uh, from uh, Cash Converters. I've been out here. Yeah. I've been out since Christmas. Seen very, very little. It's just pretty sparse, especially, especially CX. The, it's just, just like the uh, the Wii shelves and the, uh, um, especially the DS shelves have just been picked clean by parents, desperate parents, just looking for something to anything to buy their kids. And so it's, it's, they, you go to a CEX, there's nothing. Their prices are pretty good at the moment, actually. I wanted to get Dragon Quest, but I've not seen any Dragon Quest anywhere because they're down to six quid. It's just no Dragon Quest anywhere. It looks really dark. This is gonna. This I'm not con convinced this is gonna come out right. It's gonna be really gloomy. But oh, I can see my viewfinder. It looks fine. I know they've got the weird blue bit in the background. It's still light. How much time? It's quarter past three. It's probably gonna get dark any minute. But Tomb Raider. This is the only one I didn't have. So finally, I've got it. Finally, I've got it because I had a bit of confusion and ended up, I think, I ended up finding myself with three versions of Tomb Raider 3, whereas what I was really wanted to complete the set was Tomb Raider 2. And now I've got it, and that was only 50p. And I did get something in, in a um, computer exchange. This was partially credit, partially just money. Um, it's Akai Katana, it's uh, the cave shooter. This is the third one. Um, Got this, yeah. Got some CEX, and there was a shitload in my CEX, and they all looked brand new. They all had, they all had, still had the uh, the the seal on, and that obviously been it's been opened. But um, I, my suspicion is that c certain branches of CEX have sh somehow shipped in a load of brand new games, and they're selling them off. They've opened them up, and they're selling them off as um, as pre-owned, obviously, because everything they sell is pre-owned. So. Um, they just so every single one. There must have been about nine or ten on the shelf, and they all had the same thing on. So if any like they've got um, Dodon Patchy as well, Under Defeat, as well. I've seen them around, and, and there are lots of lots of copies that looking brand new looking copies in CX. And obviously they're, they're obviously they're cheaper than you'll get them brand new online or anywhere else in store. So that was six quid, and that was partially credit, but. And also, um, weirdly, um, Tales of Symphonia on on the Wii went into uh, Wood Green CX, and I had about ten copies. Which before I struggled to, struggled to get one copy, and all of a sudden there must have been a reissue or something. I don't know. I don't know where they come from, but there was ten copies. I mean, they're, they're pretty much the going rate twenty eight quid's about the money. But anyway. And finally, this is finally a little, little batch, um, two duplicates and two non-duplicates. Uh, yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave the good ones to last. Unfortunately, the good ones are duplicates. So. <laughs> um, went out for a little trip yesterday and found nothing uh, until it was like the last penultimate charity shop I went in. Just that's you normally how it works. Just bizarre. Don't know. Don't know why that is. And um, just to hit the jackpot. This is. Um, Cancer Research in, in Wood Green. I've not seen anything there in years. I've had one or two games, nothing spectacular. But it's normally the same stuff, and just they, their stock never changes. And, it's, and I always go to the same, it's always in the same spot, so I always know exactly where it is, and I go in there 
I always expect to be disappointed and then normally I am. And on the way out I noticed this new shelf there that said everything everything on this on this rack is um oh, a twitchy eye. It's irritating. Everything on this rack is a pound. And then it was DVDs, games, because normally I don't have many games at all. But this time they had shitloads and they had like weird stuff. There was a Portuguese version of um Kill Zone on the PS2. It was like a special edition. And they had like um Saturn games like Tirico, which I've never heard of. I had to write it down and come home and check it and they had it for a pound and it wasn't bad Nick. And there was another Saturn game they had mist on, on Saturn. But they also had mist on the PS1 and I've got this. It's, it's relative must be relatively like 218 so but I'm into my point and, point and click games at the moment and you don't often see this one. This you get this more in um the uh, the the help charity release version. But I'm I've never played a Mist game or a Riven or you know any of them. But you can see the games better than you can see me. So maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> but that was a pound, so they all had them stickers on them. And um that's a keeper, and so is this. Um, they're all really nice, Nick. The discs are spotless. Doom. Uh, this is the double double case, so it's got a weird, like, crappy sticker, and it's going to have to be taken off. But um, they all had they all had tape over them, so I didn't want to open the tape up in the shop. I mean, I could do, but I didn't want to. And I brought them home, and they felt weighty. I just hefted them, sort of the heft test, to make sure they've got the um, got the manuals. But then you obviously have to take pot up with the discs. But I got this home, open it up. And it was in it. I was going, oh shit, no. It's PlayStation Magazine free CD number three. No idea what's on it, I've not I've not tried it. Somebody might know. But it's got the manual. The actual case is lovely. I was thinking, oh shit. I've always wanted Doom. But then it's in the back. <laughs> it's in the back, so nice bit of relief there. Chuffed. Finally, these two. No brainers. Two duplicates, but still no brainers. Um, don't know what it is about these this range of games. That I, they all gravitate to me in charity shops. Discworld for a pound. It's the second copy I've got in a charity shop. I've, I've got one. I've got two versions of this in a charity shop, separate times. I've got one version of um, Discworld Noir. I've got um, two versions copies of um, Discworld Two. So I'll, I'll use this as an example. I mean, if if you ever think that there's nothing in charity shops, there is. Just always check them. I mean, this like I said, this branch, this branch of um, cancer research never has anything. I've not seen anything in about a year. I got, I think I got um, Marvel vs. Capcom was it on the Xbox? I think it's Marvel vs. Capcom on the Xbox. But before that, I've not seen anything. Not seen anything since. And I just never expect to see anything in this charity shop, but I still go in, and it sort of paid off on this one occasion. And this and this gold for a pound, and another duplicate, but better. Than, actually, I think this one might be better than my original, so I can swap it over. So it's, it's not so much of a. You know. And this one I think is better than mine. Back front too. So, so now I've actually got one that I can, uh, you know, the disc works because I found this recent, or like a few months ago, and the disc didn't work, but. And I, I left a lot more on the shelf, a lot more. Uh, they had, um, I, I stole uh, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, left them. Um, they had Tekken 2, they had, they had um, Wing Commander 3, I was thinking about that, getting Wing Commander 3. There's lots of stuff that I couldn't use but looked interesting, but lots of stuff I could use was duplicates. I've not got Wing Commander 3, but the the, the case was a bit knackered, and I, you know, I wasn't too sure about the contents. But Anyway, I'm hoping, hoping this this video doesn't look too bad when it's uploaded. I might I don't have to don't want to put any filters on it to make it brighten it up a bit, but I'll probably get the little message saying, Your video looks a bit gloomy. Anyway. Um, oh shit. Over half an hour. And it'll be even longer what we've when I've edited in my uh, actually no. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um more XCOM. I'm very close to finishing XCOM. It's quite exciting. Very close to finishing it. I just need to do a bit grinding because um just to you know, just to make sure my, my soldiers are up to it while you lot out there are up to it. So So that'll probably be the next video, an XCOM video. So 
thanks for watching this one. Um, thanks for any new subs I've had. I've, the, my subs have been going up and down since Christmas. I think there was, there was a minor purge and I've got a few back since and I'm pretty much back to square 700 odd. I don't know. But no. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Thanks to my subs, my new subs. Thanks to my old subs. Thanks to people who have unsubbed. Because you're perfectly within your rights to. <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you lot very soon. Happy New Year.